Hello, in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to make use of the Pivik Pro e commerce tracking measurement template. Um, all you have to do is just scroll down to the bottom of the page here, and you should be able to download um, the version that best um, works for you. So, if you have the GA4 data layer, which is the one here, right here, so if you have the data layer for GA4, which is um, data layer the view item in this um, standardized way. Um, you can go with this version of um, the GTM templates. But if you have the Universal Analytics e-commerce data layer version, then you should go with this. But if you are looking for just the e-commerce events and you want to have everything in your Twig Pro Tag Manager system, then you should just download this. Note that um, when you are importing a, a Tag Manager um, configuration, into an existing tag manager in Pivik Pro um, is set to override by default and you can't probably change this um, to um, let's say merge or something you just overwrite as the only option and as the default option also so um, for my example I'll go with this version because I have the GA4 template here um, so what I'll just do is um, I'll down click here to download you're going to open up this um, a new tab and all you have to just do is click right click um, then you click on save, um, give it a name. Um, you can give it a name, let's say I'll give it six or seven or something like that. Um, after you're giving it a name, you save it. Um, once you've saved it, you should go into your GTM container, go to the admin section to import this um, version. Then you click on import container, select your existing workspace for a new one that you want to create. I'll choose merge and I'll select um, this data layer, then I'll right click, then I'll, I'll choose merge. Um, or you can choose um, rename so that it's going to rename conflicting tags, right? So you should have 13 new tags with seven new events and 18 variables. Um, some of these variables should already be existing in your GTM setup. Same with the events, they should be existing in your GTM setups. Um, so you can change that um, if after the import actually so um, we, in the variable section you have to update four things which is one um, so you have to update the uh, what's it called the goal IDs for purchase is for how to cut the goal ID for how to cut which is this one here if you look at it here is that to cut is the goal ID you have to copy and put that then for purchase this is the um, goal ID for purchase change that also change that with the one on your site if you have one then these two data layer variables also have to update that with the correct one um, which is the cat total um, this one here is the cat total right so in the store um, if you've um, let's say added um, items to cut is pick, picks up the total of the value of what's in the cut um, same thing with um, this one here this one picks like the cut content items so like the item array is what is being picked is what is um is returned for this value just like you have your um, this item here um, but this is based on what is on the user cut um, this one here return that right so you have to just change these four these four variables for ua you have to also update the triggers with the correct um data layer event for the ua e-commerce version that you have on your site so um once you update this for year um everything should be good to go um you also set your privacy settings right then you click on preview mode Supposed to click on the preview mode. Um, I'll take this to the settings and to the trigger and the other. I'll set this to the newest and oldest and refresh. And then click on this. It's loading up.
shift record view item list event so this is a view item list event and here the event was registered uh, then let's say I scroll down and I want to add this to cart let me just select this right now um, you should see a view item event being triggered and once it loads it's downloaded downloaded and I have to just you can see the view item the item name and the price is 25 USD um, if I should add two items to cart here you should also register an add to cart event add to cart conversion and the cart update event should be registered in um, quick pro so you can see right now when I refresh this is the goal add to cart goal this is the add to cart event and this is the cart update which shows the SQ, the name, the category, the price, the quality, and then the revenue. Mm, then for um, let's say I add a new item to cut loss, I add this above cactus. Let's say I add about two of it to cut also. Let's see what happens. It's loaded two now add to cut. Um, you should see your event be registered here. If I should refresh that, how to cut conversion should be triggered to how to cut the cut update with two products, and then the um, how to cut event here. So when I go to um, check out, um, let me just check it out. I don't want to go to the view cut, let me just go to check out straight. So from the check out, I should have cut update event. It's about it's loading. Once it's done loading, the peg is still loading. Okay, it's done. And if I should refresh, you see a cut update event and a begin to check out event also. You see the begin check out and this is the cut update. Two events, two items, but four items, but two unique items. And then if I just click here, this order. Uh, the conversion should be recorded. You can see the conversion event, and you also see the begin. I'm sorry, you can see the um, let me load. You can see the purchase event here, the order ID, and the e commerce order, which is the product that is being added to cart, and the um, checkout. Um, data other data so uh, basically this is how um, to make it of this recipe in your in your GTM um, it's similar with um, with the UA version or you have to update like the event names um, because there's not a standardized naming UA like the event names and you also have to update um, some of the variables um, that um, comes with the template that you just um, imported. Um, thank you for your time. Until then, happy majority.